Hit the thumbs up if you like our video. And be sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned for all our adventures. At 8.15, Michaelstadt was donated by Charlemagne's son, Louis the Pious, to Einhard for his years of faithful and honorable service to the king. We're standing outside the old city gate by the thief's tower. We're gonna walk across this bridge and go in the city and check it out. Let's go. This tower served for many centuries as the town's prison. Michaelstadt is one of the oldest settlements and its castle grew out of a baronial estate right here. Now we're standing inside the Kellerhof, a Frankish early medieval castle complex refurbished in the early Renaissance style. Behind me is Michaelstadt's town hall, built in 1484 in the late Gothic style. Michaelstadt was first mentioned in 741 by the mayor of Carloman Palace, Charlemagne's uncle. Just behind the town hall is the city church, built in 1490. This church is actually built over a brook on an old Roman Germanic uh, worship site. The stream actually starts outside of town and then goes underground and feeds the baptismal well and the other wells inside the city. Behind me is Einhard's Basilica, built between 824 and 827. It is one of only a few Carolingian buildings that remains intact. This must go down to the crypt. This door here it goes down to the crypts. And the crypts once held the relics of St. Peter and St. Marcinella, stolen from Rome on Einhard's orders. Right licks, nightmares, and the remains, bloody sweating, made Einhard rethink his decision. So he transferred himself, his wife, and the relics to Obermullenheim, which eventually became a pilgrimage site with a new, larger basilica. <laughs> 